Hey, welcome back, Spain, to your Caribou Data Science channel. And a big shout out to the 13 folks who watched this video yesterday. That's 10 young folks and three older folks. Thanks so much. You guys get the first prize for the most uh, views in the last five in the last two days. Okay, can't can't express my gratitude enough for the for the, my continuing support in Sweden. Now, of course, uh, of course, uh, hopefully you've all subscribed, and uh, it would be great if all 13 of you people watch the video today. Oh, uh, click that like button next to it. And of course, uh, click on the, share, on the share button, share the video on Facebook and Twitter. But I have a special invitation for you folks today to join me this evening on Dave's, da Dave's Data Analytic channel on Twitch for a live data analytics session this evening. Now, it's all about data analysis, data analysis and data visualization on Dave's Data Analytic channel, okay? 8 p.m. 8 p.m. New York time this evening. The link to my Twitch channel is in the description below. Hope to see you folks there in the chat session this evening. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's begin as we always do with the vaccine roll-up program for Sweden. Don't remember putting that up there, but hey, there it is again, folks. 8 p.m. Sunday evening, Twitch. So let's take a look at uh, Sweden's vaccine program. Well, currently Sweden has vaccinated 14.9 uh, million, 14.9 million doses have been administered. And 7.27 uh, million people have been, have been single vaccination rate. And uh, 6.96 million have been fully vaccinated. Whatever fully vaccinated means, you're not going to woods. And you can see here that currently uh, Sweden has vaccinated 71.6% of their people with a single dose. And 68.5% have been fully vaccinated. Whatever that means. Okay, so let's just keep rolling right along here. Rolling right along. Okay, Sweden, you know, as you know, we don't want to panic too much over these yearly numbers. But anyway, so far, uh, Sweden, your 2021 cases have passed 2021. And here's the good news. Uh, There's a very good chance, this Sweden, that your 2020 COVID-19 deaths will not catch or pass 2020, 2020's COVID-19 deaths. Okay? Now, here's the trouble with Sweden's numbers. Somewhere back during the summer, you can see it almost, you know, it's like, see how nice and dense the numbers. And also over here, there's gaps in the data. That's called somewhere over here around, uh, oh, I don't know, around uh, June or something like that. June or so during the summer, they went from a seven-day reporting cycle to a four-day reporting cycle. So that, that now Sweden is only <coughs> reporting COVID-19 data Tuesday to Friday which means that Tuesday's numbers include Saturday, Sunday, Mondays, as well as Tuesday's numbers, <clears throat> which makes it difficult to impossible to actually know what the actual daily numbers are. So what we're, what we're concerned with is not the actual numbers over here, but what this blue line is doing. Because this blue line shows us the underlying pattern or trend. You can see back in the spring, long declining pattern down here to around July, then a spike up in July, then another decline, now it looks like the numbers are starting to creep back up a little bit for cases, okay? <clears throat> okay, what you can see here, Sweden, is currently 
based on a 14-day average, you're, you're, you're averaging, what, 757 uh, cases per day in the previous 14 days. Deaths declining kind of a bit of a roller coaster, but it nonetheless continued to decline. Again, you know, the very low number spring and summer, then this, then this number back, then this little spike, it'll hiccup. And you can see for the 14-day period ending uh, November the 13th, you were averaging 3.97 deaths per day. So what you can see here, if you've got monthly cases <clears throat> for, for Sweden, one, two, three, uh, one, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, the cases declined, very good numbers, just crazy low cases, 25, less than 25,000 for the month. What about deaths? Well, look how crazy low your deaths are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven months in a row, Sweden, you, you had a decline in COVID-19 deaths. Then a little two-month hiccup, and now hopefully this is going to be the beginning of a new downward trend. All right, Sweden, so that takes care of your report for today. Again, don't forget to uh, click on the subscribe button, the follow button, and click on the share button. Share this video with your friends and family today. Also, hope to see you folks this evening, 8 p.m. New York time on Twitch for Dave's Data Analytics Channel. It's all about data visualization and data analytics live at 8 p.m. on Twitch. A link to my Twitch channel is in the description below.